Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the link. Um, if you wouldn't mind, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help me. I just looked up what it takes to make money off of this. Not that I was really, I mean, I do it for fun, but money would be nice. Um, and I'm nowhere close, but <laughs> that's all right, because I'm just starting off. Uh, another thing, I don't know if you guys notice different quality of camera footage. And that is because one of my amazing fans sent me this amazing camera, and I'll take a picture of it and put it in the, uh, I don't know, I'll put it in the film. And um, so, yeah, I can't thank you enough, and I know you know who you are, but thank you so very much for that. That was the sweetest thing anybody's ever done. They sent me a tripod and a brand new camera, all this fancy equipment, lights, microphones. I, the microphone didn't fit, but that's okay, because I'll use the one on this. And so, but thank you so very much. I can't stress enough how kind and generous that was. So, with all of that being said, we'll jump right into the video, and you guys probably noticed that I only have two up here, and that is because I could have sworn I bought three, and I don't remember what the other beer <laughs> was. And I can't find it anywhere, so we're just going to do two today. But they should be a good two. And they are, the beers today, are the Purple Haze Raspberry Ale by the Abita Brewing Company, which is a super cool bottle. And then Einstock, which I know I've done a video before with, the Einstock Brewing Company. But this is their Icelandic White Ale instead. I think I did their Arctic Pale Ale the last time. And uh, so yeah, this is a little different, but we'll see. I mean, again, if, if two may be the magic number, if you know, maybe you guys, if maybe three's too much in one video. So we'll, I'll try the two. I know I have been trying to cut down my time a little bit, but me rambling on isn't helping. So we'll get right into the video. So the first one we're gonna do today is the Purple Haze Raspberry Lager by the Abita Brewing Company. And it's, to start off, it's a really cool bottle. Um, I love the name Purple Haze. I'm pretty sure that's Jimi Hendrix and stuff. So that's a nice little jab, you know, at the old famous rock and roll community. So what, so to say. This is a, now it comes in a bottle. I think I have seen it in cans. But it's really, I mean, it's really, I love the way the bottle looks and everything. I hope the quality isn't too bad. I'll try to fix it if it is. Again, I, this is the first time I'm filming with this camera. And I, I don't know what it's going to do. So hopefully it's all okay. Um, I'm very, oh, excuse me. I'm very much an amateur when it comes to actual professional cameras. I was just using my phone beforehand. But more about the beer. It's 4.2%, so it is a lighter. Uh, lager and it's got great color to it and it's from what I can see in the bottle it's really I mean I, I don't know why I'm just fascinated with the bottle itself and everything about it and uh, I don't know if again if I'll try to do I'll try to do the the very sensual opening the euphoria opening um, you guys loved it when Shannon did it my last video that Shannon or Shanoon was on you guys loved her so I'm so happy that worked out very well so, but you're stuck with me again. <laughs> so here goes nothing. The the, vo the camera volume on this. I don't know if the volume's just low, or if maybe I just I just need a mic. So here goes nothing. If nothing else, I'll add my own sound effects <laughs> to it. Oh yeah, that I'll do something for you. I didn't really feel much. So we'll pour it out. <laughs> There's nothing else. I'm kind of rambling. It feels like it's been a while since I did one of these videos, even though I'm, I'm pretty much keeping on track. So let's pour it out. Ooh. It's like a peach. Ah. It's very, I mean, it, again, it looks like peach coloring, but I'm guessing that's the raspberry that they actually put in it. And, and Oh, it looks it looks like a beautiful. You really can't see it's a little hazy, which is surprisingly enough, but it looks like a delicious, delightful brew. So we'll move on to the smell test that I still don't know what the heck I'm accomplishing. Oh, it uh, 
smells like beer. It doesn't really smell too much like a raspberry or anything like that. But it, it almost smells a little sour, which would be interesting. I know I, I probably mentioned sours a lot, and I think it's just because I'm on a kick with them, but to the swirl, I don't know, I can't swirl on these things. So uh, without further ado, bottoms up and pinkies up. I, I see you, Brad. Delightful. Not very overwhelming or anything like that. It's very, not mundane. I wouldn't use the word mundane for it, but it's very, it's smooth, it's easy, it's it's drinkable. They're, uh, it's, not, it's relaxing almost. I, I kind of, I, I don't know if it's just because I didn't drink yesterday. These videos kind of take it out of me. I do drink a lot when I do these videos. Um, but. I, I really, I don't know, I'm getting like a sense of ease now, and I didn't drink yesterday, so I'm wondering if that's where it's from. But it's hard to put my finger on exactly what it is. It's kind of, it's not citrusy, it doesn't really taste very berry, it tastes like a regular beer, but with a, a kick of, just a hint of raspberry. As I burp, as I burped, I taste the raspberries, so maybe, that, maybe that's where it's meant to be. So we'll read the back of the bottle and find out a little bit more about it. Purple Haze Raspberry Lager. Clouds of real raspberries swirl in the tart, tantalizing lager brewed with Pilsner and wheats malt along with Vanguard hops. There's a lot of words run on sentence. Let the scent of the berries and this hazy purple brew take your taste buds on a harmonious journey inspired by the good vibes and free spirits of New Orleans. Ah. Maybe that's, it's definitely got like a Mardi Gras vibe to it. It really does. Um, yeah, it's most certainly got like that type of Mardi Gras-ish vibe. But it's good. I highly recommend this beer, especially, honestly, like, if you're looking for something to replace your daily drinker, say if you're like a Budweiser or Bud Light or Corona person or something like that, this would be an excellent, it was very inexpensive and it was, for especially how good it is and stuff. I've always been a PBR guy. That's my, or Bud Light Lime. That's my, when I'm drinking at home and just I want a crappy beer to like have a shower beer or something like that. But this is delightful. I really did enjoy this. So, uh, yeah. Um, I guess we'll get on to the, the next and, and final one. Again, let me know if you like this two beer format, if this is better or this is worse. Let me know in the comments. Or again, if you know me, just text me or something like that. And just. I'm looking, I'm looking for answers here. I want to I please you guys. That's my concern. So, yeah, we'll get on to our last one. So the next one, and, and the last one we're going to do today, is the Instock Icelandic White Ale. And I love, I love saying that company, Instock, Instock. It's very, I don't know, it's masculine. You feel it in your, you feel it in your chest. Makes you feel... Cool, they're fighting. Yeah, sorry for the cringe. So again, I've done this company before and they're a great, they're from Iceland, they're awesome, awesome brewing company. And they're, you know, I I don't remember if I've had this one before. Again, I've always liked the company Instock and I have tried quite a few of theirs. But this one looks different to me and I'm excited to try it nevertheless. So a little bit more about this. This one's 5.2%, so it's a, just a smidgen above. I, I put pretty much five at the the average alcohol percentage. But this is 5.2, so it gives you that a, a teeny insy little bit of uh, fun at the end of it, especially for a white ale. I imagine it's going to be very light and and easy going and and so on. So I'm rambling, but. Um, yeah, it's a really cool can. I actually really like the the white and the blue on it. It's super, I, it's such a soothing color. The blue they use too is almost like a metallic blue, so it really kind of pops on the, the matte white that they use for the can, which is part of the reason I grabbed it. And so yeah, it feels weird being on the last beer already. So again, let me, let me know in the comments if you like it or not. And, if you do like it, awesome. I'll do two beers from now on. If, if you don't like it, maybe I'll do four on the next one or something. Again, I have no idea. I planned on doing three. I have no idea where the heck my other beer went. I, I don't know. I'll probably find it like next week and be like, what the hell? I don't even remember what it was. I just, I bought it like a week ago and, oh, well, the, the mistakes we made. 
So here goes the Euphoria crack. I'll never figure get, figure out how to do this. Let me, especially with this camera, I can't see on my other the iPhone. I can see what I was doing. So let me. All right, here we go. Oh man. Ooh, that was nice. I don't know if anybody saw that, or if it was fuzzy or not. But I hope it was good. <laughs> So hopefully it's good. I put it on autofocus, this camera, so hopefully that helps and that I mapped it out. Anyways, so we'll pour it out, see the color. Again, I expect a very light, pale lager out of this one. And it is very light, very golden. Well, it's not really that light, but it's it's light for your average beer. This one I'll flip it around to that side. Maybe that's a little better. Um, yeah, it's very carbonated, which I like. I mean, it's always, it's important if your beer is flat, you can still drink flat beer, but I, w I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> it's not that good. So we'll go on to the smell. Oh, there's something in there. You can, it smells like hops, which it's a beer, so obviously it has hops in it, but it smells a little extra hoppy, almost like an IPA. Huh. Got again, nice swirl to it. You can really, you can see the light through it and everything. So that's good. We'll, uh, we'll give it a go. Very unexpected. Very. I almost don't even want to tell you guys because it feels it's completely different than what I expected. But it's good. It's a. Uh, It's citrusy. It's very, it kind of feels like I'm taking a bite out of a tangerine while I'm drinking it that was soaked in beer. It's it's delicious, actually. I, I'm quite enjoying it. Um, it really doesn't smell, again, it really doesn't smell like it'd be citrusy, but it is. So it, it is what it is. Oh. Yeah, that's delightful. I want a couple of really nice, easygoing beers. That's good for a change. Um, and I know you guys like watching me drink these crazy beers and struggle. I got one of my friends recommended this snake venom beer that's like 32%. So <laughs> as soon as I can get my hands on it, I will, but I'm scared to do that. So we'll we'll find out more about this one. And, uh, oh, right on the top, ale brewed with, oh, here's that word again, coriander and orange peel. I think I did it right, coriander, coriander. Our quest was simple. We wanted to make the best white ale we ever tasted. We got there with the complex flavors of, ooh, of classic, what? Classic Whitbur? W-I-T-B-I-E-R, Whitbur. Including orange peel and coriander, all brewed with pure Icelandic water and a touch of oats that deliver a cool smoothiness that is uniquely flavored and refreshingly drinkable. It's definitely refreshing. This is a very easy going drinking beer. And I like it. Again, they're brewed, it's brewed in Iceland. And uh, I, I could, cur I won't be, I'm not gonna try that again. I think I did it on <laughs> the last Instock video I did. It was really good. I actually, I, again, I would drink both of these on a regular basis. This one was a little bit more expensive for a six pack, I think it was like $11. So this one again might hurt the bank a little bit more. Where Purple Haze, I, I think you can get that at like Publix and stuff like that. I, I have heard of it, I've just never tried it. But it was both really good. So, and this this video had no particular theme either. I, I, I just kinda, I'm winging it with all this new stuff. I don't even know if I could use it, depending on how the camera works and all that jazz. So here goes nothing, but we'll get on to the uh, the finale and uh, we'll decide I don't even know if I'll do two beers we'll see all right thanks so those were the beers for today <laughs> this video feels like it went by in flash it was, felt really really quick so I maybe again if, if you guys wanted a shorter video or anything or uh, just let me know let me know I'm I'm a hundred percent flexible I'll drink two beers I'll drink three beers I, I can make you know, the less beers I drink in one video, the more videos I can produce. So it works out a little bit either way, but I don't, I don't mind. I mean, I'm gonna be, I drink for fun anyways. So out of these two beers, it's kind of tough to pick 
which was the favorite, especially since I liked them both. So I'll just go for a rating scale, one out of ten. Uh, for the Einstock, I would rate this a eight Vikings out of ten rowboats. So very good, solid beer. I, I would drink it again. It was really good. And if they had, I can only imagine what this would taste like on tap. I feel like it would be phenomenal on a tap, and maybe that would be what would push it to a nine or a ten in my book, at least. But try it for yourself. Let me know how you feel. And the purple haze. Well, the purple haze was delightful. I really did enjoy the purple haze. It was everything it kind of promised. It wasn't very raspberry, but it was it was very smooth in other ways. It, I mean, it's a light beer, so it's it definitely. I mean, it won't. It's not going to hit you as hard, but. I'll... Oh, jeez. For the sake of being, having a winner, I guess so to say, I'm going to, I'm going to vote this a 7.9 Jimi Hendrix out of 10. So putting it just, just under Einstock. Einstock, again, it's just... This is more of a domestic, it, well, it's becoming a domestic beer. It, it is a craft beer all on its own and stuff, but it's delightful and it's delicious. Um, I never said where this was ooh, made, but it's in a breed of, it's in Colorado, where this is in Iceland, so again, this was, that may be why this is cheaper. It doesn't have to come from a, a different country. So, yeah, and then with only two beers, I think for you guys, I'll chug the both of them. My mom's gonna hate this. She doesn't like it when I chug beers, but that's the only thing I'm good at. So we'll get right on to it. Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna do some weird transition thing, but let me... Okay, I got this. Okay, I hope that looks cool. I have no idea. Normally I do some weird hand movement and I can kind of block the shot. I'm like, all oh, you TikTokers out there. But <laughs> this, is, this is quite a walk, so we'll do it. I'll, do, I'll figure it out some other time. No, I didn't think I drank that much beer because I thought these were regular pints, but they're really not. Um, but thank you so much, guys, for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. It's always so nice to see that people are actually enjoying it. I'm blown away with how well this channel... My first video is almost up to 250 views. I expected to get, like, four. So this has just been a wonderful surprise, and thank you so much for everybody for supporting me. Thank you so much again viewer who shall not be named for the amazing camera and just being a generally amazing person and the bestest of friends and so cheers this one this one's for you viewer and well never mind this one's for you viewer. <laughs> and this one's for mr badland chugs all of my friends keep telling me to challenge you i hope i don't mean to be offensive whatsoever i just, i look up to you and stuff it's amazing what your content if you guys haven't checked them out absolutely go do it but I want to do a chug off with you, Mr. Badlands. And by golly, I think I could just win. So in in retrospective, to show my spunk, I'll chug this one. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and God bless you. Ooh, should I dare go for the left hand? That was delicious. God, that was really good. Ooh, oops, sorry. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs> Good night.